Federal Bureau of Control, Director Trench's office. Ah, yes, that'll be two turkey subs, a pastrami, uh, a Caesar salad. <laughs> yes, we have a lot going on at the office. We're all working late tonight. Uh, where was I? Oh, a mini pizza and... What? He's what? <clears throat> Scratch one of those turkey subs. Thank you very much. We're back at Central Executive to talk to Emily again after finding the hotline. There she is, just sitting there. Jesse, did you get the hotline? I mean, how is it out there? The comms? The hiss? I, sorry. You made it. I'm glad. Emily? Let's talk. Of course. I got the hotline. I can make out what Trench is saying now. Incredible. What did he say? He talked about his management team. People who knew the Bureau's secrets. Your boss, darling. Tomasi, but he's gone. He has gone. Salvador? He's the head of security. And Marshall? Helen Marshall is head of operations. She's tough, ex-CIA. She took her rangers and went to the research sector to secure the HRA production. She hasn't come back. Someone who could help us. The other sectors. How do I get there? It's impossible because of the internal lockdown. You can perform a directorial override to lift it, but that can only be done in the maintenance sector. Normally, you take the sector elevator down there. It connects all the sectors, but it won't work while the lockdown is in effect. We already got past one lockdown. Maybe I can find a way. Jesse, look, with no prep, no training, in this extreme situation, you are doing phenomenally well. And all that and the hiss can't seem to affect you. I mean, I would love to run some tests on you. I if you agree, that is. L we could find out something that would help us. Tests? I don't know. She might find out about you. Who is you? But I wouldn't mind understanding more myself. Okay. If you think it will help. Great. I'll check the internal documentation for any lockdown bypasses. We need to get these sectors open to locate Darling and Marshall. And I'll look for a way inside the maintenance sector. The sooner we find one, the sooner I reach this override. Okay. I want to know who is talking to her internally, and why does Emily Pope think they're safe to sit in that boardroom if we know the hiss can come back to any part of the building at any time? Is the janitor involved? My god, the graphics in this game are pretty fantastic. This is maintenance, it's pretty creepy looking. See all the security guards hanging in the air. Achievements, achievements, achievements. Hi, Jesse. Where did the hiss come from? I'm not sure. You said the hiss was here when you entered. Did you see anything like that outside before you came in? No. No, just inside. The source is internal, then. See, the oldest house is a sprawling complex with openings to other places as well. I don't even know where to start looking. 
But in the context, it's good news. The lockdown holds. The hiss escaping the building would be the end. Pretty shitty world out there if you ask me, but I wouldn't want the hiss to destroy it. I'm with you on that, Emily. This is the best banana bread. You mentioned the oldest house. What is it? This building, the bureau headquarters, the oldest house, is a shifting place. Uh, you've seen it. It transcends its physical limits. I've been to New York a few times. How didn't I notice this place? It's an attribute of the building. This is a place of power. The oldest house doesn't like attention, so unless you're purposely trying to find it, you don't, which is perfect for us. The work we do here is essential, but unstable. The Bureau prefers not to be noticed. And we need strong walls to make sure nothing gets out. I guess. So without you, I never would have found the front door. Okay. This trench guy. I keep hearing him in my head. Is he a ghost? Haunting me? I doubt we're talking about a ghost in the traditional sense, but an echo may be. See, if he was killed by the service weapon, your gun, maybe it's his final thoughts recorded by the bullet in his brain, like a, a deep space probe sending back data. But that's just a hypothesis on my part. I'd need the gun to research it. But you better hold on to that given the circumstances. I think I will. Yeah. Yeah, I think I would too. Can you tell me what an object of power is exactly? This is all, well, new to me. Pretty new to me. <laughs> Don't worry, I love going over the basics. <laughs> so objects of power are mundane objects that house paranatural energies and have developed a link to the astral plane and can thus be controlled, which is what differentiates them from altered items, which are still housings of paranatural forces, but are more volatile and cannot be bound in the peri-utilitarian sense. Got it? Did no. she memorize this? Got it. Thanks. So HRA stop you from becoming Hiss? Well, it seems that way. I mean, I hadn't even heard of an HRA until a few weeks ago when Dr. Darling started handing them out. Well, I began analyzing mine as soon as I got it. I mean, each one seems to emit a powerful short range frequency way beyond anything I've ever seen. Doesn't the timing seem suspicious? I thought that too. Dr. Darling usually likes to unveil his latest breakthrough in big presentations. With these, he just passed them out. Yeah, his behavior makes me wonder what exactly he knew. Where is he? Thanks, Emily. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. Just let me know. Why does Emily, why is she safe coming into this room and she knows that the hiss can come back anytime they want? Let's not knock the table over here now. I just want to read this thing. Research and records, initial impressions. It's curious. Initial encounters, the entity knows the hiss have revealed various behavioral facts. Most notably, the hiss is able to invade or corrupt Control points, alter items, even humans radically change their behavior. Curiously, any person wearing one of the wearable HRA devices that Dr. Darling has been distributing, oh, excuse me, over the last few weeks was not affected by this corruption. The only known exception to this fact is the new director, Jesse Faden, who possesses an inherent immunity to the hiss. This could indicate that she's already been corrupted, but her behavior is so in contrast to that of the other hiss that I have dismissed the theory. My final observation comes from Miss Faden herself. She's able to cleanse material and organisms of the Hiss corruption. We tested this ability on a Hiss corrupted entity, but unfortunately the process seems to kill the host. Perhaps the host's physiology becomes reliant on the Hiss. More work to be done. Refer to file redacted for full report. Now, why would she redact this at this point? That, that doesn't make any sense. There'd be nothing to redact at this point, would there? Shatter recoil. 
There's so many mods and I can only use what one at a time. Is that? I like the headshot boost though because I'm trying to get headshots. Should I be deconstructing these? I don't really understand. Like I want, <laughs> how do I unlock? I want to unlock these other uh, mods. I don't really know how to do it. Don't know how. All right, Emily, you just sit here. Just sit here on your behind and I will do all the work myself. Do you hear that? Someone's singing. Where's it coming from? I'll go look. Uh, the janitor? The creepy janitor? You can hear the janitor in the background. It's very quiet. Singing. Sounds like it's coming from the elevator. I heard the Hiss attack the power plant. Brings up a lot of new questions. Are they communicating? Coordinating? What about the plant attracted them? The power plant is largely confidential. No use guessing the Hiss's motives if we don't even know what kind of energy it uses. What do you mean? I don't remember where the elevator is. Oh, sector elevator. Time to work. Meet me in the main denounce. Time to work. Time to work. Time to work. I'm a little scared to go to maintenance because I don't trust this old janitor guy. Like I said before, the janitor is a friendly face. Is he though? Is he really? He might be the boss of all the hiss. Use E launch to carry a light source into dark areas. I'm nervous. Maybe it was you who got me into the oldest house with the lockdown on. Maybe it was Ati. It felt like he made the elevator appear that took me to Trench's office. Is Ati guiding me too? Uh, maybe it hasn't occurred to her that maybe Ati is the enemy. This looks like a prime area for to be attacked. I don't know why I have a penchant for playing these games late at night when it's dark and I'm here by myself. Everybody's asleep. Well, everybody being my husband. Oh, I can't get in here because it's it's a clear it's a clearance level above me, of course. Oh, I should go back to the entrance maybe and open up that room that I couldn't get into before. I don't want to go in this room. It's all red. That's going to mean bad things. Maybe I'll just take this with me. <laughs> You know, just preemptively. Janitor's office. Okay, I'll just throw it at this thing right here. Wow, that was... That was quite an explosion. That's kind of impressive. No, oh, dang it. I'm probably going to regret getting rid of that. I'm probably going to need it here in a second. The directorial override is right there. The cards. In the control room. How do we get there? Yeah, I'm going to want that fire extinguisher. It 
Where's the janitor's office? Ventilation, janitor's office, sector elevator the other way. When I pass these guys, are they going to come to life? God, look at them all. There's two of them up there. Did it kill him? damage. dude. I kind of uh, started panic shooting right then. Not very, no, no real finesse with my technique. <laughs> no finesse at all, just a lot of gun fire. Try not to wake my husband up. I gotta get not get too loud. Okay. Where's the janitor's office? Janitor's office. Should have known. basically have to run back here and grab everything and throw it at them. What is that? You can't see what those achievements are, but they can't be for anything particularly special. What is all... Oh, damn, I fell. Is that everybody? I need to get back up there now. really don't understand what I'm doing here. This mouse. I have turned this mouse sensitivity down so far and it's still like, eh, very jiggly. What is all this? I 
I'm probably risking a massive explosion. Okay, something terrible has happened down here. I don't understand what that is. And I'm imagining that's a question that's going to be answered soon. And assets, what did I just get? Conceptual material, original, I don't understand. I'm assuming I'm going to figure out what these things are for. Hidden trend, undefined reading, ritual impulse, but I don't understand what that means yet. Oh, that's the hotline. Okay, I don't need to read that. I've already listened to the hotline. Janitor's office. Boy, this is quite a large maintenance area. I don't know. It wants me to go that way. But don't I want to go talk to the janitor first? Well done. You got the job. It's place for congratulations. Yippee, Satana. It happened in the last drop. I truly need an assistant. Okay. Funny thing is, I've been a janitor. I'm more at home in that role than as the director. <laughs> Only Ati here seems to see that. Yeah, hi, Ati. Look, we need to get the lockdown lifted. Otherwise, I can't get to the other sectors. Can you help me get to the override? Yes, yes. Easy peasy. It's just around the corner. But first, we need to get you working. Working? Very small couple of hours job. Something tells me it's going to be more than that. Yaha, yeah, yeah, yeah. You think there's a dog buried in this? I can tell you are not the yesterday's Krause's son. That's why you make a great assistant. Very well. I'll hit the facts on the table. I'm out of this one, that this house has a vermin problem. A bad one. They've already messed up the cooling pumps. And the power generators of a power plant, Berkele. Is that what all that the crap was? There inside is starting to feel the band around his head tighten. The situation needs to be fixed before the plant <laughs> blows up and we all disappear like a fart in Sahara. Trying my best to keep a up with fart this. in the Sahara. Fix the coolant pumps and the power generators, otherwise, the power plant will blow. But don't you worry. I've left you clear instructions. You'll catch the end of the trip before I go to my vacation. The work's on the task board here. You can do later, when you have time. Vacation? Right. Yes, no one's gonna cancel my holiday or seat's gonna rattle. But don't worry at all. You'll take care of it and soon this crisis gonna be last winter snow. You better go now, so you don't have to run with your head as your third leg. The door in the back leads to the plant. The door in the back. That's great. Thank Got my you. clearance level upped. Find a way to fix the NSC power plant. I mean, the place that's all leaked over with that goop? What a mess. Burn the trash. Yep. G to activate Burn the dress. Throw it in the fire. Burn it all. Burn it into a reindeer, not into a moose. Pensioner. Okay, I am confused. Where is, where 
does this go? Power, oh, I'm going to the power plant. Personal mod energy boost. Alright, so I got my, my security level was upped. Threshold, I have no idea what these things are. I'm assuming I'll find out later. Burn the trash around the furnace. I don't know. Okay, so what happens again if that thing blows up? Power. Explosion. Too much. Director's duty. Keep the lights on. <laughs> okay. Easy for you to say, Trench. You're dead. I'm the one stuck dealing with this. What did I just trip on? Oh. Well, okay. I am not confident. This has a little bit of the same feel, not in the game, not the way it looks or anything, but the same little sort of evokes the same feelings as when I was playing Poppy's Playhouse. Everything. Okay, these are side missions, I guess. Everything seemed very innocuous, and yet there is this horrible sense of foreboding. <laughs> Just about what's happening with us now. Okay, that guy does not look sick. But why are those guys not corrupted? And are they going to be corrupted? Any second, just right as I start to believe that they're okay? Another mod thing, Majiggy. I don't understand what all these things are for. I keep saying that. Okay, why are these good? Are these guys corrupted and they just don't see me, or are they not corrupted? I don't get it. I'm confused. He's got to see me. Chief Arishi. He's just inside. He'll help you. Oh, they're wearing those things. Okay. doesn't appear to have worked. Okay, I'm supposed to go talk to this guy and... Okay, there is more guards up there. Where's the security booth?
All right. Well, he ain't talking. He ain't the talkative sort. I wanted to go to the security booth. Where's the security booth? It's all well and good, lady, but you didn't tell me where the security booth was. I'm just going to walk through this little pipe here. Wow, this is a large and in charge power plant in this place, in the basement of this building. I don't know where the security booth is. I don't see a sign for security booth. Oh. Ma'am! Hey! Chief Arish, FBC security. Shouldn't you be in a safe room? HRAs. We're on the same side. My name is Jesse Faden. I'm here to perform the directorial override to get the lockdown lifted. Yeah, yeah. Chief Arish, FBC Security. I'm just... Oh, hang on. You're the new director. <laughs> um, it's a pleasure, ma'am. Let's skip the formalities, please. Right. Faden, ma'am. Look, as you can probably tell, uh, it's a bit of a shit show down here. <laughs> yes, I should say. We're holding our ground, but... Whatever's gotten into our buddies has them wrecking the coolant pumps and the power converters. The NSC keeps overheating, and my crews keep getting shot before they have a chance to make any repairs. NSC? Oh, sorry. Bureau jargon. It's what we call the power plant. You know, the uh, big rumbling metal thing? <laughs> uh, Salvador, head of security, asked me to protect it in case of an attack. See, what's inside is dangerous. But Dr. Darling seemed to know it would be a target. Darling? He's here? No, he came down a few days ago, before everything went to hell. He was out of it. He smelled like a bar mat. He was ranting about vulnerabilities and how he only had one large-scale HRA, but that he needed it somewhere else. Hmm. Still, at least he gave us these personal HRAs before he left. Hey, did I mention that he was tearing his clothes off? <laughs> Crazy dude. Darling knew the hiss was coming. Listen, I love playing 20 questions as much as the next guy, but we have got to get the water and electrical systems repaired before this baby blows. I'll have my guys unlock the doors out of here for you. I'll take care of it. You stay and keep the hiss away from the plant if you can. The hiss? That's what we're calling him? Oh, that's catchy. Oh, listen, the radios aren't working, so if you find my boss Salvador out there, could you please ask him what the plan is? I'm sure he will have one by now. I'll keep an eye out for him. He sure has a lot of faith in his boss. Yeah. If he's in full possession of his faculties, he might have a plan. Okay, fix the NSC pumps, fix the NSC converters. Open tab. Oh, tab is for the map. Damn it, I keep hitting M and then wondering why I can't get the map open. Back. Now. Oh man. He's gonna be so pissed. Okay, I'm in the power plant, so I need to get back out to that central round corridor and then go. I just wanted to make sure. Don't mind me opening up every box I find. Why are they trying to blow What's up the... read on all this? Uh, energy conversion is well below the acceptable percentage. Internal pressure is climbing so fast, I'm amazed the NSC is still open. When it blows, we're all going to lose. Okay, I need to go to ventilation. I'm itching for some real action. No, you know you're not, you stupid woman. Well, I don't want the pumps, right? I need to find... Oh my god, I couldn't find the security booth. <laughs> oh my god, that sucks. Oh, converters and pumps. Oh, pumps are to the, converters are to the right. Of course, they're in opposite direction. Let's go to the pumps first, just because what the hell? 
Oh, I was just over here. There's gonna be a fight down here, I can already tell. What the hell are those? Okay, that startled me. Oh, they're gonna come up the... Run, you stupid woman. Girl, you said you wanted some action. Where were you when these when those floppy bodies? Those floppy, shrieky bodies were running up the hill. I'll be running up that hill. With no problem. Oh, there's a mod down there. man. How many of these things are there? Where'd it go? Alright, how many more? Where are the guards? Where? Are you? Come on, you guys are standing over there with guns. You can't hear all this gunfire? Okay, they won't come up that hill, so am I not supposed to go down here quite yet? I don't get it! As soon as I go down this hill, there's going to be a whole bunch more of them. Right? All I can say is you stupid security guards are useless. I just shot like 25 of these dumb things. You just, nobody came over to help me at all. Replace the 
What? Okay, now that was just insulting. I'm probably gonna need this stupid cell. I'm gonna regret not taking it. Hey, they are throwing things at me. The hell is that thing? Man, it was right above me. No. Is it that simple, really? Ch something chamber. I, I'm not playing this game very efficiently, I must say. Oh, the furnace chamber. I have to burn the trash. I'm very nervous. All right, some kind of radioactive. By crash, did Ati mean barrels full of hazardous biological material? Seems like I'm breaking some environmental regulations on waste disposal, but if that's what Ati wants, then I'll get it done. I don't think this one is. How many of them are there? Holy crap, there's like barrels of... That's kind of funny. Yep. Yeah. Guys, right, so let's not kill yourself. My name is Dr. Pierce, lead researcher of the Parakinesiology Department. I believe that I've discovered a code Omega paranatural entity residing within the Bureau itself. 
right under our noses. Darling refused to allocate me the budget or resources, so... So I'm taking matters into my own hands. Let this recording be the proof I need to convince them. The furnace can speak. It's been talking to me for some time now. Listen. Did you hear that? It's a sentient force capable of communicating. I checked and, and there's no record of, of ever installing this furnace. I believe that... Oh, oh, sorry. What? Yes, I can feed you. Uh, what do you eat? I see. Uh, I'll try to find some volunteers. Oh, okay. Okay, it's. I like how they have hazardous waste just stacked all over the whole building. All right, there must be more. Looney Tunes woman who wants to throw people into the furnace. Oh, this is... Oh, boxes of trash. Is that what they meant? Did I finish? I already read this one, right? There's nothing new on here. My name is Dr. Okay, yeah, no. Lead researcher of the power team of knowledge. That's trash. I don't know. Did I do all the trash? No! Shatter recoil efficiency. Okay, well, I got sidetracked by that, but the fact is, I need to go do this other problem. Hey, Bozer, get this. The accounting department still says they haven't received my expense reports. They say the receipts might got lost in the mail tubes because of a ship, a shift in, of Earth threshold or some such fuckery that if I don't have the originals, I can't verify my expenses. Bullshit. <laughs> that sounds like typical bureaucracy. <clears throat> Did I, I think I finished this side quest, right? It's not showing anymore. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so let's go back out here and go fight the floppy people some more. Oh, it's right there. That's really funny. All right, well, I kind of messed this room up, but at least it's functional now. I don't really want to go in here. Oh, I'm in here now. What the hell? We need to fix this thing ASAP. Yeah, I know, but I don't know what to do. 
How the hell? The heck is that? All right, what's that hole? I'm gonna go. You know the guy that came out, that Bernie skeleton-looking guy. This chamber. Crow, go to shift. Fix it fast. If the plant goes boom, we can throw the spoon in the core. Okay, something has to go right there, but that thing does. Of course, there's more dudes now. There's a lot more dudes now. Oh, I can't get out of the room. Die? Yeah, he did. If you can get him right in the face, you can usually kill them, but. Holy cannoli. Another crowd of them coming at me. I want to throw that because it's. Okay, it's below me, but I can't get to him right there. I can see him, but he's behind that stupid...
Oh, that was not what I meant to do. But that's all right. Okay, there's a pump over here. Shit! What now? My old enemy, the clock, is blocking the pipes. You need to deal with that shit. He is very clever. He is trying to sneak in. He got him caught with his hand in the fish trap. Get rid of him. Go away. Clogging the cooling pipes, is that what he said? Oh, I'm down at the bottom. I thought I was at the top of the map. Hang on, I gotta open my window a little bit. It's hot in here. does not look good. Are you joking? They're like giant zits. How do I clear it out? Oh, you shoot the zits? That's literally what you do? I'm going to assume... Okay, how do I get in there? Uh, this is very gross. Giant pussy zits. Oh, it receded though, look. Wow, that is disgusting. Where? I don't understand. Isn't that the same? Okay, no, it's not the same place I came from.
disappeared. No, it didn't. It's right there. Okay, I'm not done yet, but... Oh, what do you know? No, I'm gonna leave it with the headshot thing on because I'm, I'm at least adequate at getting headshots, I think. I don't know where else I'm supposed to fix the NS to cool it pumps. Oh, is that it now? I can go back and... I don't know where I'm going now. Of course, I'm going to be lost now. Nope, that's not it. clue where I'm going. I'm going to be lost in here now. We need to hurry. health back and I gotta get out of here and I gotta go do the other half of the job which is the energy converters this was the pipes now I gotta do the energy converters so I can't get out of here yet Take that elevator? Oh, I took an elevator to get to uh, That scared the crap out of me. How many of guys like that are there here? to the elevator. Thank God. Thank God I found an oxygen tank. Do that. The energy converters was just going to be the same barrel of laughs this one was.
Oh, I'll come back and be a giant. behind me. a lot going on. Well, thanks for the help, asshole. Look, he's just standing there. energy converters and I gotta go this way and do this whole stinking process over again. is coming.
Where'd that dude go? gonna come down Well, my methods are crude, but they are semi-effective. All right, I'm assuming I have to go up the stairs then. Converters. It's fried up. You need to fix it before the old trick pants inside the plant has a shit fit. Yikes. Okay, so that's a big shot of something he should... stairs.
<laughs> now I'm scared about where I'm going to find anybody anywhere. All right. the other ones. Alright, I don't know where I'm supposed to go next. That control room is locked. Can't get into that control room because it's locked. Is this game going the way you thought it would go, or have you actually played this before? I've never played this before, so... I, I'm finding the entire thing confusing. I'm gonna, there's got to be, oh, there's one right there. Let's go lift the lock down. these little uh, mod boxes I have missed. Where do I lift the lockdown? Maintenance uh, C control room. I don't understand. No, I'm, there's a room I am missing. It's probably super obvious. This looks like a control room, this area right here. Okay, 
Was there a room over here I missed that was locked? I couldn't get into it or something? I don't remember. Oh, there was. Now I remember. God, I probably don't want to go in that room. A game reminder. All right, this room is clearly messed up. How many of these guys are there? Gun's pretty handy. Yeah, but now. That's it. The other sector should be open now. I think it's time I told Emily why I'm here. I'll risk it. You two should get to know each other. Okay, I think I'm fast traveling. We'll talk to Emily and then that'll be done for today. All right, let's talk to Emily real quick. They say the new director can launch objects up to 20 feet. Bullshit. We've never recorded any distance over five. Obviously, you never read the P6 data. Well, I'm not going to show you. I'll just let you believe what you want to believe. All right, Emily. Jesse, you made it. And you lifted the internal lockdown. Let's talk, Emily. Listen, Emily. Screw it. Just tell her. I haven't been completely honest. I have a younger brother, Dylan. When we were kids, we found an old slide projector in Ordinary's landfill. The slides created doorways to other places. 
bad things happened. Came through. That's all she gets. The rest stays locked inside. But we found help. Through one of the doorways, we met something. A being. A being? What kind of being? It's hard to describe, but it... She helped us. We managed to turn the projector off. The bad things that came through the doorways were gone. After that, your people came. Tried to grab us. I ran away. They got Dylan. I left them behind. Bureau agents took your brother? Yes. You covered it up. No one believed me. I just want to find Dylan. I've been looking for him ever since. What happened to the slide projector? It sounds like another object of power. I thought you took it. The Bureau. Along with Dylan. I've never heard of it. But around here, I assume everything's classified. You know, I looked into the ordinary AWE case files after you mentioned it. Trench and Darling were both involved. A large area of the containment sector was reserved for it. The case hasn't been active for a long time. I have no idea if anything's still there. Can you tell me more about this being you found? Let's hope you two get along. She's been with me ever since Ordinary. In my head. She led me to you. I call her... Polaris. Polaris? As in, a guiding star. Did Polaris know about the Hiss? If she got you in here, in spite of the lockdown, she's very powerful. Which may help explain your test results. Your readings are incredible, Jesse. Now, cross-referencing them with the database, I found two matches in Darling's old classified files. Unfortunately, I can't access them beyond the file codes. But one was P6, referring to a prime candidate for a potential future bureau director. Uh, this was logged years ago. Dylan. Is that Dylan? The other match is on something called Hedron, which must be connected to these Hedron resonance amplifiers somehow. All I know is that Marshall went to the research sector to secure the HRA production after the his first attacked. So, Marshall seems like our best lead on Dylan. I need to go after her. How can I get to the research sector? Use my key card. The sector elevator will take you there. Marshall is the next step. What Emily told me about ordinary, my powers being connected to things in the Bureau's past, I am so close to something. Do you feel it? I do feel it. Something's coming. We take turns to come for a visit. I helped you. You owe me now. And when time comes, I will come calling. Well, okay. Tomorrow we'll be going to find Marshall and find out what the hell is going on with the janitor. All right, until next time. Good night, y'all.